Hi there, I'm Dr. Melissa Felkins with It's a Joyous Journey, and I'm back today talking again about Apologia curriculum. I'm excited today to talk to you about Apologia Physical Science 3rd Edition. That's right, there's a brand new 3rd edition of Apologia Physical Science out, and it is really amazing. Now, we have used Apologia Science in our homeschool as long as we've been homeschooling, and we've always loved it. We know that it's a solid curriculum that we can always count on, and so we have used it at almost every grade level. I've always kept the high school curriculum on my bookshelf once my older kids used it because I wanted to use it with my younger kids. And here I am, finally my last child is a freshman in high school, I cannot believe it. This year we were planning her freshman year, and so I, of course I went to the bookshelf to get Apologia Physical Science out for her to use. And then I went to Apologia's website and I wanted to get a new student notebook for her to go with that. And what I found instead was this new version of Apologia Physical Science, the third edition. And my first thought was, well, you know, this is our last homeschooler and so we'll just stick with what we've got. Second edition will be okay. And then I started looking through the, the samples and the information on the website and I thought, wow, this is something that we really, really need to up update. I just felt like there were enough changes and improvements to it that it was really worth nudging the second edition off the shelf. So what's so good about it? Let me tell you, there are five things that I think make Apologia Physical Science 3rd Edition worth the upgrade. And here they are. The first one, it is so user friendly. The writing is broken up with a lot more graphics and figures and it makes it so much easier to read. In the old version there are a lot of pages that were full of text and nothing to break it up with. The graphics and figures that have been included in this new version, they break things up and they help explain in a visual way the content of the book and so that is really a good feature that they have added. Also the font is bigger which just makes it easier to read as well. And then a really neat feature that I like. On the edge of the book here, they, they've used color to show you where the different modules are at in the book. So it just makes it easier to find your spot and it's just one of those little things that makes it a little bit more user friendly. The organization between the student textbook and the student notebook is really, really great. So as you're going through your text, you've got your student notebook there with you. And when you come to an on your own question, the on your own question is written out there in the student notebook with plenty of space to answer it. Also the vocabulary words, they're the same color in the text as they are in the student notebook and they come in the same order, which just makes it a lot more simple for your student to find the information that they need. Also the note taking prompts follow the same order as the module as well. So the student notebook and the textbook just go hand in hand and really complement each other well. It's just a very structured and open go curriculum that makes it easy for parents and students to navigate through it. The second thing that we like about it is it's so colorful. If you just flip through the book, you can see all of the color that's in there. And it's not just the graphics and the figures that are colorful. Color coding is used throughout the book to help the student be organized and know what they're looking for. Um, for example, when you come to a new section, it's titled in purple. The vocabulary words are all blue. You'll find the on your own questions in green boxes. And then all the examples are set apart in a flesh colored box. And as I said before, that color coding, it carries over into the student notebook. So it's just all really organized. The color draws you in and, and gets your attention. And it just makes the, the course more interesting. So the use of color in Apologia Physical Science 3rd Edition just really brings the curriculum to life. And so that's the second reason we love it. The third reason we love Apology of Physical Science 3rd Edition is because the content has been expanded. They've actually rewritten the entire content of the course to make it a more complete physical science course. It covers chemistry, physics, and earth science, so it really gives a great foundation for all of the upper level science courses that your child will take in high school. And by the way, Apologia does recommend that this course be taken in eighth grade, but they also recognize that it does meet the requirements for a ninth grade level lab science and so that's how we're using it. Uh, we're doing physical science in ninth grade and it more than covers any requirements that you might have for a lab science for high school. So the fourth thing that we love about Apology of Physical Science 3rd edition is the student notebook. This is my favorite part guys. This student notebook keeps all of the student notes, the on your own questions, the study guides, the lab reports, everything together in this one notebook so that your student has everything that they need when they go back to prepare for their tests. 
and it's, it's just a really handy tool to have and it's organized so well as I mentioned before it's color coded to go along with the student textbook. It also includes a suggested schedule for the year. It's got a what to do list at the beginning of every day so that your student can see exactly what they have to do for the day and mark it off as they get it completed. The note taking prompts and the graphic organizers, I love those too because they really help your students to figure out what's important in the text and pull that information into their notes. And we'll talk a little bit more about the note taking in just a few minutes. But the student notebook also has all of the experiments in the back of the book for every module and step by step guide, what materials you need, procedures, places to record all of the data, all of those things are there. So overall, the organization and the structure of the student notebook, it, it's really the best part of the course in my opinion. It's just an outstanding tool. So we've talked about how Apology of Physical Science 3rd Edition is user friendly, it's colorful, it has expanded content, and the student notebook is an amazing tool. Finally, I want to talk about how it fosters independent learning. With all the schedules, the note-taking prompts, the to-do list, um, there's the experiments, there are sections called You Do Science, um, formal and informal lab reports, and the complete walkthrough on how to do a scientific research report at the end of the book. All of those things really just foster independent learning. It really gives your student an opportunity to utilize the resources that are available to them and really to develop lifelong learning strategies. I feel like one of the most important skills for a high school student to master is to take ownership of their own learning. This is something that will benefit them throughout their life and so it's really important that they learn that while they're still in high school. The overall course schedule and the daily checklists in the student notebook teach students how to plan and organize and manage their time, which we all know is a skill that we need as well. I mentioned before the note-taking prompts and the graphic organizers. I want to talk about those just a little bit more. Those prompts and graphic organizers, they guide your student to glean the most important information from the text and represent that material themselves. And with the variety of different note-taking prompts and graphic organizers that are there, students can get a feel for what works for them. The notes are not something that are graded. They are for their own benefit, and so there's no right or wrong answers. And it just really gives them the guidance they need to learn how to take proper notes, but teaches them how to do it in a way that works best for them. It's really important for students to discover what kind of note-taking techniques are gonna align best with their learning style. And the student notebook does that. It also gives them plenty of practice in identifying main ideas and details, um, summarizing, creating charts and graphs, and, and making drawings of the scientific data that they find. All of those things are important skills to have that can be used um, not only in science, but across the board and into their daily life once they get out of high school. So those are just really important skills to have, and I love the way that Apology of Physical Science 3rd Edition teaches that skill in addition to teaching science. We're talking about fostering independent learning, so let's talk about grading for a minute. As I mentioned before, the student notes are not graded. The On Your Own Questions and the Study Guide are not graded either. Are they checked? Yes, they're checked. The student checks the their On Your Own Questions themselves, and the study guides are checked by the parent but then the student goes back and corrects anything that they got wrong. Doing that, but not taking a grade on it, helps the student to use these things as tools to help them learn rather than just assignments that they complete to try to get a grade. And so it's really important to allow your student the opportunity to see what they did wrong so that they can learn how to do it correctly. And then when they get around to the test, they've got correct information that they're studying from and it will help them to be more successful in that. So in this course, the tests are graded and the labs are graded, and then you can give a grade on character if you want to. How hard your student worked, did they put enough effort into it, or were they lazy about it, that sort of thing. And of course, all of that is optional. You're the homeschool parent, you grade it how you want to grade it. But it, this is how it's suggested for Apology of Physical Science 3rd Edition, and I think it's a really good way to do it because it does foster that independent learning. Apology of Science courses always do a great job of providing a strong scientific foundation from a solid Christian worldview. The authority of God as a creator of earth is referenced several times throughout the text. It's mostly in the module introductions. You know, I've always just loved the way that the authors of Apologia are able to show how the work of our creator is so evident within scientific findings. 
and the order of our physical world. And you know, there's no need to water down the science or the faith because they go hand in hand. So my final thoughts, Apology of Physical Science, third edition. This is a fantastic improvement to what was already a good solid physical science course. The user-friendly style, colorful graphics and organization, expanded content, the outstanding student notebook, and the independent learning tools make this new edition completely worth the upgrade.